In this video, let's see another property which I have named as property number 3 on the topic of properties of determinants. Now we have already seen two properties and two numerical problems in support to those properties. In this video, we are going to see the third property. And as I have already told you, it is advisable to watch the previous videos so that you understand this video properly. Now, the property says what if any two rows or any two columns of a determinant are identical, that means same, then the value of the determinant is zero. That is what it says. That means if you have any determinant wherein two rows, any two rows or any two columns are same, the entries are same, then its value is zero. Let's see what do we mean by that. It means that I have a determinant A and it is said that the determinant is such that A1, A2, A3, B1, B2, B3 and again suppose I have A1, A2, A3. You see that these two values are identical, these two rows are identical. So its value should be zero. That is what I mean to say by this property. Now you know what that if determinant of A is named as something called as del, what happens? I say that del is this value. Now to prove this, to prove this property number 3, I say that let us interchange something. Let's interchange R1 and R3. If you interchanged R1 and R3, then by the previous property, you know that the sign of the determinant will change. If R3 and R1 are interchanged, I say that my sign changes. So now the determinant value is basically nothing but minus of del that you will be getting. You know that from the previous property. Now, if del is something called as this, and even after interchange, R1 and R3 will become what? You have A1, A2, A3. You interchange. This goes here. This comes here. Again, it is same only. So no change. B1, B2, B3. And here also it is A1, A2, A3. That means what? Again, the value is same. So if this is minus del, if this is del, you say that both these values are coming out to be equal only. So accordingly, what happens is del is equal to minus del. So that means my del is equal to minus del. And if such thing happens, I can take del to the other side. So this minus del goes to the other side. It becomes what del plus del, which is 2 del. And here it comes equal to 0. Now if 2 del equal to 0, that 2 goes to the other side, 0 divided by 2 is 0. So my value of del or the determinant is what? It is 0. And that is what is said that if any two rows or columns are interchanged of the determinant, the value comes out to be 0. So this property is called as property number 3. And it says that if any two rows or any two columns of any determinant are same, the value of the determinant is 0.